everyone, my name is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing a beginner bullet journal uh, thing for 2021 and kind of walk y'all through a few videos that I have planned for December. Today I'm just going to talk about what I ended up buying, kind of like a little haul, and then um, go through what I'm planning to set up for my journal and take y'all through the first quarter and maybe January and kind of like the doodles that I've been testing out and um, kind of just going through that. And then the next video will be about lessons learned, possibly. It might be really short or I'll just tell them in this one. I'm not sure yet. And then um, the third one I want to do is tips and tricks that I've learned in this short time doing this and from other people. I'm one of those obsessive people who once they decide on something just like immerses themselves into like looking at everything on Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube to where like I'm dreaming about doing a bullet journal. Which is really frustrating, <laughs> um, but like it stinks how far away January is. So I was like, I just need to do this and make this video and plot it now. So I think everyone's like 2021 bullet journals are coming up on YouTube anyway. So um, I wanted to do a little haul and I will show you all all of this um, on the desk when I do like the down view. But I ended up going to Hobby Lobby. This is where uh, I impulsively decided that I was going to do this. And I went to Hobby Lobby because they had the 50% off thing, right? So, um, I saw two brands there, uh, for the markers and that was like Tombow, which were expensive and then Masters Touch, which is the Hobby Lobby brand. And, um, I didn't look up reviews before I bought them. So, uh, lesson learned with that, but I will show y'all in the overview I do too, that it didn't actually bleed through or ghost as much as I had anticipated. Um, you, like you really can't see that and I'm sure like if I were to try actually drawing um, it might be an issue like here's a grid I did but on this side like you can just barely see where I went through really hard or harder with the word love right here so um, it's just like I don't know they were my price range and I'm actually really excited to do these so I also, <laughs> I'll go through this, these are going to be so out of order. Um, this is the one I got for, I'm just going to do lessons learned in this one. <laughs> um, I got this bigger size along with the smaller size because I was like, I don't know what I want to do yet. And I ended up plotting out only half the year in this one with the spread that I'd originally wanted, which is a full week on two pages. And so I didn't want a thousand journals at the end of this. And so I was like, okay, I'm just going to smush a week onto each page and lesson learned because this one actually just has less pages than this one. And so I could have gotten a full year on this with a spread out weekly spread, but I don't know how bunched it would have been anyways to do that since this is smaller. So I actually turned this one into my doodles which this is like terrible, but I want this to be my mess up and my creative journal. Um, I was just going to keep it and do like something else with it, but I really didn't want to mess up this one too badly. Um, you can see at the back that I was trying to do the grid thing and uh, work on like a possible layout situation and um, I was going to try this grid, but I was like, you know, that's too confining and I just really want columns and different things and so this one I'm just like testing out colors testing out um like the way like letters are written and different things like that and I just want to doodle and I don't know if I'll have a lot of room in that planner so I just want to like take this and doodle in it <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do with that one and then I got this one these were all half off so all of these were like five bucks or less and this one I'm going to make my writing journal, which I didn't know I was going to make a different one for this either, but I decided to go for it. Um, typically all my stuff's online, so I was just like, I don't really need this, but I decided I'm going to be making my own story structure, and so I'm going to put all of that here, and then how I kind of tabbed this, I'll talk about in my tips and tricks that I learned. Um, I'll be doing that for each of the books that I will be setting up in this book so I can easily find them. I'm going to try to divvy them up by like short stories, middle grade, young adult, adult, or whatever. Something that's a little bit more helpful. Um, so the other pens that I'd gotten, I saw that like the zebra like mild liners were really popular and I could have just, you know, gotten them but they weren't on super sale at Hobby Lobby and um, 
So I went ahead and just got the Master's Touch version. I will say with these, some lessons learned is that not all of the colors are what they show. And I saw this in someone's review of the product, but I can't find the pen. There's like this really pale pink that comes out like yellow and weird. Um, so I'm kind of disappointed in that one. And there's like a few things like that. And even these pens, and I don't know if the Zebra, the mild liners of those show too, but for how dull and pastel these are, they're bright as heck. And so I don't really know like how they'll come out on the page, which is the point of my doodle, because I was just doing this on um, this paper, I think. And it's just not the same uh, page quality. So stuff was bleeding through and um, it just wasn't a good test. This was, I had practiced on this page and you can totally see it through. So I wanted to practice in a doodles like only page with like the pages that are actually gonna be in my journal so I can test stuff out. And then um, I ended up getting, I was gonna get the zebras of, or no, I was gonna get the Seiko, some other type. And I ended up getting Master's Touch of this as well. There's five different sizes, four of them, and then like one brush tip. And I was like, you know, you can never have too many black ones. Like the markers I got only came with one black. So I was like, we're gonna do some more of that. And then, this is what I'm putting these in currently, or all my pens are in this lovely merch uh, bag I got from Alcrate a while ago, and it's for, oh my gosh, Victoria Schwab series that I am spacing on now with Lila and Alucard and Kel, <laughs> that's gonna bug me. Um, so what I next got were some stickers. I'm also very into scrapbooking, and I haven't done that in a long time because I was tired of like carrying scrapbooks around all the time, and so, I'm now getting to implement those scrapbook pages into this journal, which is really cool. Um, this is the one I got as a side hustle um, type of sticker pack, and I really love what's inside. And that's kind of how my journal is going to go when I show you all the layout. It's like for side hustle. So I got a lot of sticky notes because that's one of the tips and tricks I'll be talking about. And then it just, um, I got some more because <laughs> I was like, I love these. And I'll show y'all all these again probably in the overview. But um, got a lot of washi tape. Um, I just probably didn't need this many, but they were like $2 on sale, so whatever. I got a lot of um, florally kinds and then um, like prayer ones. And this one's my favorite. I'm in love with succulents, so I really hope that oh, that I can um, draw succulents in my journal. What sucks, lesson learned, um, was this. It's the kind that doesn't stick to itself like this one, and I'll show you all a closer close-up of that. And it just like unraveled, and I was like, cool, that was, that was fun to learn. Have my handy-dandy uh, ruler, and... I got these just because I love cactuses as well, but we got little binder clips and little page magnetic um, bookmarks, so those are cute too. I'm just like super excited to get going on this and show y'all my layout, so let's go look at that. Okay, so this is the start of my journal. I found a quote yesterday that I wanted to use because I'm a writer. So I wrote, turn the page and start a new chapter. I really love uh, trying out these different fonts and stuff. Um, this was a happy little accident, so I ended up putting um, scrapbook paper on there <laughs> and writing it again. Um, I'm going to be testing different things out, possibly in my um, doodle journal more so than this one, but um, I also really loved the quote, create a life you love. Um, that was one of my words for 2019? I think 2019, my word for the year was create. And um, my word for 2020 was balance, which was a joke because of COVID and um, me just putting way too much pressure and goals on myself. But I really wanted a recap year, especially since I didn't have a bullet journal in 2020. So I'm still adding to it as I rem like remember things. But I wanted to put down my favorite shows and movies, my favorite songs, um, my workout stuff I was doing that year, how my side business went. Um, anything that popped up, like I'll be putting on here that we had to put up our uh, window coverings for the first time for a hurricane, and then uh, my favorite authors and books, maybe some games that I played, um, what I wrote this year, 
Oh, I wrote three books this year, you guys. Like, rewrote completely or drafted three new, like, three books. So, um, I ended up winning Camp Nanos, both of them, and the regular Nano, and I outlined, um, a serial series and just had a bunch of ideas I got to jot down. This has been a really creative year for my brain, and I hope I continue it in 2021. Put down that I got into author mentor match and that my name officially changed to Katie Knightley. Um, and I'll keep uh, journaling on this page and fill it up with stickers and whatever else I want. But um, for 2021, I also didn't want to put down goals. Um, I didn't want to like not meet them or put pressure on myself. So I just wanted to put down focus. And again, a lovely another accident and I just put tape down instead. Um, so I don't know like how close y'all can see this stuff. Maybe I need to move my camera closer but um I want to focus on querying and hopefully get an agent um Rycom Con is next year I want to create more I want to focus on my platform focus on being uh restful and um my word for next year is free so I want to be present and um, focus on my health and paying off our credit cards and so this is the first uh, spread that I'll be doing, which is the calendar month. And um, a lesson learned is to freaking pay attention to what you're doing. I wanted only to grid the days of the actual month. I messed up here, messed up down here. Like I was watching The Mandalorian and it just got cray cray. So after that, I want to kind of make my layout like this although I wasn't like super positive about it um, I wanted to do Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday and then have this bottom one for notes and then do like my whip stuff up here and um, my platform goals maybe my gratitude or a prayer slot and um, just do like some journaling or doodling or whatever's gonna uh, go in for that week and the thing that I remembered was that because these are together, I didn't necessarily need to do double on each page. I like I could have made it just bigger where I had to like if my whip if I was doing like six chapters for two weeks, I could have just put all that right there instead of like three chapters here, three chapters here. So I'm definitely still trying to figure things out and I'm not totally in love with the grids, even though I like boxes. Um, this was how I originally wanted it, kind of, where it was like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, like on one big spread. But, um, what I wanted to show y'all is that I'm planning on doing like journaling plus keeping track of my side hustle plus keeping track of like my credit card debt and things like that. So I want to do like prayer and gratitude and my writing, my reading, like everything in this. And so that's why I kind of wanted to show you all this spread. And I had enough room to where I was going to write ideas, thoughts, um, more doodles, more journaling. I gave myself a page each month or at least a half page like this beginning one starts with one, two, three. So I have this whole spread to do journaling if I want. And um, that's kind of just how I want to do it. So for February, I went ahead and just tested this out, which I really should just test out in my, my uh, doodle journal. <laughs> but I was like, okay, what if I didn't have grids? What if I just wrote and just like, you know, free float it. Um, I do like author Brittany Wang. She only does like Monday. And then once that day's over, then she'll add Tuesday. But I'm one of those people who like having it all written out and I was testing the non-grid over here as well to where I could just do like whip, um, prayers, whatever, and just see how it goes. Um, I didn't constrain myself too much down here because the thing with the, the grid is say I had all this room right here, the lines are going to mess me up if I want to doodle or write in anything. Um, I love writing down, um, song quotes or prayers or like um, verses from the Bible and so um, I just I want that space I want a bit more of a free space to do that um, towards the back of the book I have my blog I'm going to be listing blog ideas and then YouTube ideas and then um, the back is kind of just a 2021 recap so I have like books I've read I could put back here. I do want to put them like in as I go as well, but I can put them back here. Any book ideas I have, even though I have a journal for that now as well. Um, and just thoughts and prayers. And these were my test pages at the back. 
Um, it's where I was first testing out this layout and the things that I wanted to put in this part of the layout. So as you could see, um, I like this idea. I saw it on Brittany's channel as well that you can do like the little highlight part and then the chapters you wanna do. And then you can just cross those off or um, mark them. She had like three for like um, her different stages of edits and I thought that was cool. And then I wanted to do like my platform of YouTube, Instagram, Pinterest, my blog, my newsletter, just to like keep it in my brain that I need to do those things. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the setup that I wanna do with all the things that are on my plate. And so if y'all want to just track this, I'm gonna do a fast cap of uh, me finishing March and then um, writing all of this stuff out. I will likely make a lot of mistakes, but here we are, mistakes are fine. <laughs> so let's do this. I also wanted uh, different colors. So I wanted February's to be like pink or red, but like jokes on me for not paying attention. Seriously, don't watch stuff and do this at the same time, and I'm saying that, and I'm definitely gonna be watching The Mandalorian while I do this, so. <laughs> I'm out of ideas, mm -hmm. I'm not. Okay, so as you can see, um, I didn't enjoy the marker part and switch to pen. Um, I'm gonna be going over these in pen as well and then filling out my January. This is for just things to happen in quarter one. I don't really wanna write anything here yet because I'm not sure what to write there. And then I wanted to document where people's birthdays are, Valentine's Day, um, different things like that in the space below. And hopefully that'll just be a good quarterly overview. I might do uh, columns over here for January, February, March goals um, to accomplish, or I might just put them in the weeks themselves. But next I'll be filling out the rest of the weeks. honestly not sure what to put in these blocks on this page because that one's so open. Um, I know I'm going to want to put my book in here. Oh, I guess I could do platform. I'll put that one over here. I meant to put that in all caps, but it's fine. Um, so I have these open and I'm not too sure if I want to do a whip on each page. Um, I do want to document. I have a lot I want to do. Um, so we'll see. And I kind of just want to leave this open. You can see where I tested out different versions of this grid. Um, that shoots. 
So I messed up because I messed myself up. So I'll be putting a sticker here <laughs> and renumbering these because I tripped myself up not gritting this. Yay, life. Also, I wanted to let y'all know what I'll be tracking in them. I get paid on Wednesdays through my UBM company. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I know I won't be getting paid here, but just to show y'all what I want to do. I'd like to show my income in green and then do my um, bills in red. So on the first is a holiday, so I'll have to pay it before then. But Wednesday, Thursday, Friday... I know that I'll be giving to daycare, so I'll put that there and just track all my bills that way. And what I would like to do is um, say I get that much income, then I can draw an arrow and put how much I put towards my credit card and how much is left on that credit card. And that's kind of what I want to do for that. And I also want to designate like for um, say like if each thing I want to do platform wise has a color then I can do like uh, let's see so Tuesday I can do that this is my IG day and then to the side I can post what that content I want to be about and say and I meant to I want to start doing IGs on Monday but it's fine and then say I want to do YouTubes on Thursday that one's also on Tuesday, but it's fine. So then I can write down YouTube. And I also know that I'll be having two UBAM days. I would like to have two parties. And I know that this isn't going to work out in January, but I just want to put UBAM. And I would like to track... Uh, I have different things I have to do for my UBAM tasks throughout the week. So I know that I want to track it that way too but I love having the blocks I know that there's a whole code for bullet journals with like the dots and the different symbols that I don't really care to do I want to do the blocks and then like check them off or fill them in or do something um, like with my whip I would do like if I was going to start here and do chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3 and try to get that done for the week. So that's kind of how I want to set this up. And once I know what the videos are or my content is, I want to put that in here. But I also can go jot it all down back here and keep track. Platform would be, um, so if I keep this the same, I might want to do IG. YouTube, I'll do um, my blog, and my newsletter, which all of this is not going to be done every month, but I'm going to put it here just so I keep track of it. For <laughs> It's almost like the fake version of what I want to do, but um, I want to keep track of what I'm accomplishing that week, that month, that quarter, because I'm really terrible about sending out my newsletter, so um, I might assign this on a day and just make it orange or something, and I always have blog drafts going, and then I never come back to them, so I really want to do better with that, but Yeah, let me know what y'all think so far and how you would tweak it for you. And I would love to get your feedback or any tips and tricks that you have as well. And I really hope y'all have a great rest of December, a fantastic 2021. And um, let me know what your goals or your word of the year is going to be. Thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next video.